This is our 12 years old female child and uh, what I'm showing you is at present the uh, see this area is the fundus of the uterus, body of the uterus, this is the cervix, posterior lip of the cervix and the anterior lip of the cervix measuring uh, 4.5 centimeters in small in size whereas 3.15 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter now this size is acceptable and normal this is the urinary bladder and this central ecogenic linear area is the endometrial canal uh, appearing to be in uh, the proliferative phase in this scanning plan so this area from here to here, if I make a trace of it, then this region is suggesting us the body, cervix, and uh, the uh, this is the uh, uterus with this central ecogenic line representing the endometrial canal. Now, as I move downwards, I see a tubular structure. You are also seeing it uh, with. Uh, that has multiple different strength internal echoes within it. Now, here we are. This it's this area measuring 9.9 .9 centimeters, and then this region measuring uh, 5.1 centimeter in length. This area measures. 4.3 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter and this region measures 3.8 centimeter in uh, uh, anterior posterior diameter. So this is the cervix and the vagina of the, uh, of the female and this child. See that this is the vagina and this is the cervix. Uh, or we can say that this is all of the vagina being straight, totally straight from this region, uh, from here to here is the vagina with uh, this area. Then this is a case of hematopulpose, dilated vagina, because and this is the urinary bladder as I move upwards. Now this uh, body of the uh, uterus is traced and the fundus of the uterus is seen relating uh, with this uh, dilated uh, area which is now note that, uh, that dilation as well as the echoes. These are all echoes. This is all bleed. Uh, in fact different strength echoes. This is developing into a clot and this is the vagina and in long period section. This is the transfer section. There is no blood supply seen within uh, this uh, dilated vagina. Then to show you another thing is, now I am going into transfer section. See, this is the body and fundus of the uterus showing us uh, anterior and posterior myometrium. This central ecogenic, ecogenic line is the endometrial canal. Body and the fundus is normal. As I move downwards in transfer section, I get this globular area filled with different strength echoes. And uh, with it, I can show you the right ovary as well. Now this is the dilated vagina with fluid as well as thick echoes within it, islands of thick echo, which is the development of in different phases of clot formation. This area, this region, this is the right ovary of this child. And we can see a follicle central ecogenic area showing follicle 
dwelting follicle in it. Now this is the left ovary of the uh, child with follicular activity seen. This is the left ovary. Yes, this is the left ovary and you can see two follicles developing in it. Both ovaries can be seen in this view. This is the dilated vagina, this is the uh, uh, follicle in the left ovary. This, these are two follicles in the right ovary. This is the urinary bladder and uh, when I move this uh, to, uh, to, uh, globular area, Longitudinally, it becomes tubular, and uh, uh, let's see if there is any blood supply within it. No blood vessels within this uh, dilated vagina, full of different strength and alacos. Here we come towards the uh, body of the uterus. and fundus of the uterus. So this is a case of hemat uh, hematocorpus in a 12 years old child and this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.